Welcome back, everyone. The start to a brand new week here on the Cabral Concept. Can't wait to get into today's episode, the three steps to properly pick an achievable goal. So yes, we have the new year upon us, but maybe you're listening to this in June or July or August and you're saying, well, is it too late for me? And the answer is no. Your, your job in life is essentially to get the most out of your potential, to get the most out of the opportunities that you've been given or that you've made for yourself. The problem is a lot of opportunities present themselves. We're not ready for them. We don't take advantage of them. And then they're Therefore, we don't move forward in life. So what I want to do is I want to actually help you make this whole goal achievement process, not goal setting, but actual goal achievement process so much easier. Because the sad truth of the matter is that many people started out their life, and I know for sure in childhood, I look at kids and I say, wow, look at all these kids. They have so much uh, big dreams and goals and aspirations, and yet then we get to be an adult and somehow... We let a lot of that fall to the wayside. You know, we have all sorts of different reasons for why we've never achieved our goals or why we've kind of given up on our goals by we hit maybe 30 something years old, 40 something years old, 50, who knows, right beyond. And a lot of people cite all sorts of different reasons why it could be time, right? Lack of time lack of knowledge or know-how, lack of money to be able to take advantage of whatever opportunity it is, uh, too many family commitments, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? There's always something, and we always can come up with some type of excuse, and a lot of them are actually valid. The problem is, if we allow those excuses to run our life, we aren't going to get the opportunities that we want to take advantage of. So what I want to share with you is this, though. You have to stop looking at what you don't have and really focus on more of what you do have. And what you do have is the opportunity right now in order to move forward in your life to achieving any goal that you set for yourself. And I want to share with you just a very simple plan. I've really over the last, I would say maybe maybe two to three years, but definitely over the last six months to 12 months, all I've been doing is really looking back at all of my work and in my practice and just trying to use what I call Occam's razor. How can I simplify this? How can I simplify it? How can I simplify it? How can I make it take less time so that I can share that with other people so they can maximize their results in less time? And that's because I found that the number one reason that people don't commit to their goals, even though they know that they should be doing it, I mean, most of us know what to do, right? We do. I'm going to go over a couple examples. But we're like, oh, we just don't have the time. Well, nobody has the time, right? Nobody has the time. We need to make the time. We'll get to that in just a moment. The problem is this. We still need the simplest, straightest path towards our goal. Again, I, I talked about this maybe like three or four weeks ago on shortcuts. You can definitely find my Mindset and Motivation Monday on that by going to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. Just click on that Mindset and Motivation Monday tab. And we'll also try to link it up for you. Today is 2152, stephencabral.com forward slash 2152. And we'll try to link up previous podcasts there as well. Okay. So here's, here's the thing though. We want, there's no shortcuts, right? We still have to do some level of work, but if there's a proven blueprint, if there's a formula and we could do it in less time, that's what we want to do, right? So I'm not against that. But now, what do we need? Well, we still need some time during the day. And really, I've looked at it, I've, and I've really gone in depth in this. I honestly have. And I would say most people can achieve almost any goal in their life that they want in about 30 to 60 minutes a day. Now, does that mean you will achieve it day one? Most likely not. If you did, it wasn't a very big goal. You know, you should have achieved that years ago then, right? But it's 30 to 60, 30 to 60 minutes a day Every day, compounded actions equal much faster results. And I've talked about that before. I've really talked about that. Well, let's go over a couple examples because this will make it more concrete. Okay. So a lot of times, well, we don't have the knowledge, right? That's what we say. We don't have the knowledge in order to get a career promotion or whatever it might be, right? Well, it could be investing. It could be anything, right? You can learn these things online. I've literally been watching industries over the last couple of years because I love I love just looking at like where the world is moving, um, <clears throat> how people are gravito- gravitating during cert- to certain software and obviously Zoom and things like that. You know that's taken off over the last couple of years with the pandemic. The bottom line is this: 
everything can, almost everything can be done virtually now. So that means you have an opportunity to learn any skill you want at a pretty low cost. Usually, most of these online courses or whatever it might be, might be a couple hundred dollars a month. That's it. And you might say, well, I have a couple hundred dollars a month. I, I understand. I, I mean, like, I get it, but we need to make some type of initial investment to, in order to be able to take things to the next level. So you may pick up a second job and you might already have a second job. I, I understand. Again, like, life is full of complications, but can we save a little bit more? Can we do something in order to get then that? certification, that knowledge, the learning how to invest, whatever it might be, right? Because the knowledge is out there. And you can certainly watch for YouTube videos. So that's the thing is if, if you can't afford any of the online courses in the world today, you can definitely watch a lot of these things for free again on YouTube. But what do you need? 30 to 60 minutes a day. But don't waste that time going down a rabbit hole on YouTube. Curate the videos that you want to watch, right? Find the one online course that you want to take. That's it. Like, that's what we want to do, right? So that's knowledge part. Most jobs, whether it be real estate or accounting or uh, like mortgage brokers or health coaches or personal trainers or yoga or whatever it might be, right? Even doctors out there, you can take a new certification. Now, so they used to be in-person seminars, but a lot of them are done virtually now too. So you don't even have to travel. You can save a couple thousand dollars in travel expenses. All right. So then you can get another certification on whatever your current career is that may allow you to add another facet to your business, which certainly will pay you back in whatever that investment was, as long as you follow through on it, right? That 30, 60 minutes a day. That's it. Again, you're not looking to accomplish this in a day. That's kind of where our mindset has gone wrong. And it's not you, it's not me, it's just the media says, hey, can we can we get it done today? Well, you know, hey, now we can get Amazon packages delivered like the same day. Well, Again, that's great. That's amazing. All that, but not everything is immediate gratification, right? Some of the best things in life, the best goals took a little struggle to get there. It was a bit of a journey. You needed to put in some work. You needed to learn a new skill. You needed to have more knowledge. You needed to follow some type of blueprint, right? That's what is. That's what it takes to hit the big goals, but there's more, right? A lot of people, okay, I want to achieve, I want to get rid of my autoimmune issue. I want to improve my cardiovascular health, my blood pressure, my type 2 diabetes, all these different things. I want to stave off Alzheimer's and cancer. Okay, well, here's the thing. We need to be on a program, right? We need to follow a protocol. You can find that book. You can find the course. You can find the protocol. You can find the at-home lab. You can find whatever it is in order to get you on that track. And that may only take a week or two of figuring out what it is that you want, okay? Then you make the decision and you move forward with it. We'll talk about that in just a moment as I'm making the, the three steps, right? That three steps for criteria. Exercise plan. Certainly there are a million books on exercise, right? A million podcasts on exercise. Uh, there's a million online courses as well. You're, you're going to find one and you're going to take 30 minutes to 60 minutes a day to improve your overall health. Same goes with meal prep, right? One of the biggest things with weight loss is movement and meal prep. By meal prep, I mean good food, good nutrition, right? So again, what I'm showing you are examples of how you can go about as the first step to achieving whatever that goal is, because your goals are going to be unique, not wildly unique. I don't think any of us have like truly like wildly unique goals. They're going to be somehow catered to uh, improving our relationship, uh, improving our career or finances, improving our health, improving our body, improving our spirituality. That's kind of what they center around. That's what I found in my practice for like the last 20 plus years is people are looking to work on those areas and they're all great, but sometimes we need a little bit more work in one area, right? In our life. That's the one that we're going to be focused on. So let's now get into the three criteria. And what I found is we're moving into these three steps that I call it is that I think a lot of us, we know what we want. We really do. We know the goals that we want. We've kind of shoved them deep down inside because we simply thought that they weren't achievable, right? We kind of got to a certain age. We're like, well, it hasn't happened and this, that, and the other thing. But here's the thing. Once we can start to just be a little bit more childlike again, enjoy a little bit more visualization, not censor ourselves so much, right? Not tell people our dreams and goals that we know they're just going to shoot them down, 
right? Start to journal about them, what what might be able to be possible for us. Again, it doesn't have to be definite. You don't need to, um, you know, let your mind say, oh, this has to happen. No, no, no. Enjoy, relax into the process. We're going to teach you how to make this happen. So the last part is this, you know, and, and I'm going to get to this as, as my number two point, but the goal has to be great. It really does. You, you want to create a great goal for yourself. You're going to have to dedicate a little bit of time during the day, not a lot, like I said, two 30-minute blocks a day in the morning after waking up, before bed, 30 minutes. That's it, right? You can do it at lunch, but same times. We're going to talk about that, right? So you're going to have to commit to it. Make it a great goal. If it's just a mediocre goal, you, you, I mean, it's probably not going to be there. Probably the commitment's not going to be there. Make it great. It's going to take the same amount of time anyways. All right. So here are the three criteria. Here are the three steps. This is what I look for. One is this. I actually used to do this the wrong way. I'll, I'll be really honest with you. I was looking at this uh, program way back in, I would say, my mid-20s, maybe late 20s, somewhere around there. And it was 100 goals in 100 days. And it was basically, you wrote a list of 100 goals that you wanted to achieve. And your job was just to knock them all out in 100 days. That is super stressful and a bit ridiculous. And the goals can't be that great. It's more of like a to-do list. Okay, that's that's how I've realized it. Now, I like the overall thesis because what you're doing is you're actually going to be moving your life so far forward because you're just saying, I got to knock off this massive to-do list. And most people don't knock off a hundred things, you know, in their life that they have to do in a hundred days. So I love that part of it. I, de- I don't even, I, th- I might've done a podcast on this like five years ago, but it was, it's kind of like the 100 goals in 100 days. Maybe it's out there. If we can find it, we'll try to link it up today at uh, stephengrabal.com forward slash 2152. That'll be fun if, if I can actually find that from that long ago. But uh, I don't know that I have that because I kind of let that type of thinking go away a long time ago. What I would say is this. You might have three or four goals. That, that's probably more realistic. You might have three or four real goals. One of them actually might just be taking a vacation or travel. Another one could be doing that... Um, investing, learn about investing, right? A lot of people are that this is not my forte. So I'm not going to pretend to give you expert advice in this. But a lot of people are trying to hedge against inflation right now, right? Inflation's at 5%, 6%, 7%. That means if your money is sitting in the bank, it's literally decreasing in value by five, six, 7%. Again, I'm not an expert in this area. I'm not going to give you investing based advice. Okay. But a lot of people trying to say, well, what should I be investing in? Right? So anyway, you can learn about that. <clears throat> the other thing would be, okay, how can I take my career to the next level, my health to the next level, body transformation, relationships, right? But three or four goals. So here's the thing, though. You can only achieve one at a time. And I know that people, and I've said it before, too, kind of pick a couple and work on a couple. The thing is, it's just the likelihood that you achieve all of them or any of them goes down the more goals you add. Let me, let, me, let me just say that again. So the more goals you have that you're working on at the same time, not the more goals you have, but the more goals you're trying to work on at the same time, the less likely it is that you achieve any of them. And that's because you're pulled in three different directions, four different directions, which means if you have 30 to 60 minutes a day, what are you narrowing it down now to 15 minutes per day? It's just not productive. But more than that, your mind is not focused. You literally need to have tunnel vision to your goal. And if you have tunnel vision to your goal, there is no doubt in my mind you're going to achieve it. Honestly, there's literally no doubt in my mind. The only question mark is how long does it take? That's it. Because if you have tunnel vision in your goal, you're going to hit it. it. Just I've never seen it not happen for anyone that's truly committed. So we're going to come up with one goal. Now, inside of my you know journal right here that I'm holding up, okay, I keep one on my desk and I carry this around and I definitely fill up a couple a year. And it's just thoughts. It's just things that I'm working through. And what I say is this. Okay, that's a, that's a good goal. I like that. Let me kind of marinate on that for a bit. Let me sit on that for a bit. See if I really want it right? And that's my, that's the second part to this is that when you're going through your goals, I want you to think about your why. Okay. Why do you actually want to achieve this? And here's why you're going to no doubt encounter some obstacles. If you're trying to lose 50 pounds, you're going to plateau somewhere along the way. Everyone does. 
you might lose the first 40 easily, and then you have 10 more to go, and you haven't lost any in a month. Do you give up, or do you keep pushing? Because there is a way around. You have to find that next way. You got to tweak your plan a bit, right? Or you're going for an online certification or course, and you did six of the modules really well, and the seventh one is really challenging, and you have to go through all nine. Do you stop at number seven, right? Or do you put in a little extra effort? Maybe see if you can get a coach for that part, whatever it might be. An exercise plan, I could say the same thing. So are you going to be dedicated to waking up and exercising five days a week? I mean, you have to be able to have a strong enough why to say, yes, I am, because this is why this goal has meaning to me. And it kind of goes back to the first one, that you need to narrow down your focus so that when you hit the obstacles, you don't say, well, that one's done. I'm going to move on to the others. No, if it was important enough to you, then you're going to stick to it. You're going to follow through. And maybe it's not just for you. Maybe it's for your family. Maybe it's for your grandkids, right? Make it if it's not about you. If you if you don't have a strong enough why for you, do it for your kids. Do it for your siblings. Do it for your community. Do it for your church. Do it for someone, right? Make it make it happen. Reach your potential for you, for other people. I think that's that's not a bad thing, being of service to others. Nothing wrong with that. And just going back to the, the choose one is that try to choose the goal that has the strongest why. And also, maybe that one with the strongest why will actually make achieving all your other goals that much easier. So if you have like, okay, I have four goals this year. One of them is to be able to take my family on vacation. Another one is to be able to learn how to invest. Another one is to get my health back. Another one is like, whatever it is. Well, okay, one, you want to learn how to invest. The second, you want to take a vacation. The third, you want your health. So you're going to choose one that might be more career-oriented or finance-oriented, or maybe it is the investing one, because then that pays for all the other things, right? So it's kind of using like Occam's razor. Well, if I knock over this domino, it makes all the other goals a whole lot easier. So start to think that way. If I achieve, what, what one goal could I achieve that if I achieve that, it would make all my other goals that much easier to hit as well? Think about it that way. All right, the third step is this. Schedule it now, all right? Throw away the to-do list. You're gonna choose a goal. It's going to have a strong enough why that you know that when you hit an obstacle, here is the reason why, right? Here is the reason why I'm not going to give up. And so it has to be important. A lot of people say, well, I want to lose, you know, I want to lose 30 pounds, but it's not that big of a why to them. Meaning like, it'd be nice. They probably think it'd be nice if they lost the weight, but if they don't, honestly, no big deal, right? That is not going to be a goal that you're most likely going to achieve. So you want one that burns a little bit of a fire in your belly, that you are going to get after it every day when you wake up. That's the way that it has to be. Now, the easier way is, so the days that you don't feel like doing it, it's already scheduled in your calendar. So I want you, if you've not already listened to a previous podcast of mine on, let's see if we can find it, uh, episode 2131, stephencabral.com forward slash 2131. I'll also link it up at today's show. All right. So if you haven't listened to that, please do. This is the most practical real world advice I can give. To do lists do not get accomplished. Maybe you knock off one or two things on the to do list. Fine. There's always more to do. The problem is we don't we we run out of day before we do actually time or activities, right? To do these things. So we know, both you and I know that they're not all going to get done. But it will get done if it's on your calendar and it's scheduled. So I have a whole podcast on how to make this happen. Because I know if you have two 30-minute blocks a day, that you can achieve a whole lot in your life. You can certainly achieve any weight loss goal, any wellness goal, any education-based goal. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. You can learn about how to have better relationships. You can learn uh, about spirituality. All of these things can be accomplished in one hour a day. It doesn't mean you accomplish them all in a week, but they will happen over this next three, six, 12-month period of time. And how amazing will that goal be if it is a big enough why that you achieve that in this coming year? And so that's exactly what I want for you. So if I can answer any additional questions, you let me know, but make sure we focus it down to one goal, that it has a big enough why, and that we actually schedule it every single day in our calendar in order to make it happen. 
Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. And of course, if it was helpful, please do feel free to share it with anyone else you believe it could serve. Take care, everyone.